Yes, good afternoon, good people. Leo siwambi, good morning, ama good night. As of the time I'm doing this video, it is the afternoon. Sawa sawa, na niko hapa, mali naitua Masi Njeri. And this is Nakuru Beyond the City, episode 13. Nilisema kwamba episode 13, tutakuwa hapa Masi Njeri. Now, Masi Njeri is not really a big area, alright? In fact, Masi Njeri... You know, it used to be called Apa Kiamoni, alright? And it's still Kiamoni, manake hapa kuna apartment hata imeandikwa Jennifer Kiamoni Heights, alright? And it is in Masinjeri. But I thought when I did Kiamoni, si kwa ifika huku, mikasema isi so important, nieza kufika maala hapa, panaitua Masinjeri. Masinjeri is about 7 km from Nakuru CBD. The area at large is Kiamoni, right? Or oh, Kitambo, it used to be called Upper Kiamoni. But uh, this, this particular area, you know, is now known as Masinjeri. In fact, to Kipanda Mart or bike, you may have, uh, okay, let's say you're coming from town, eh? You know, you may have to specify whether you are going to Kiamoni Olivine or Kiamoni Masinjeri. Because even the matatus, you know, from town, they usually say kiamuni, you know. And uh, kiamuni, in this sense, uh, it also implies, it also applies to Masi Njeri. Speaking about mat, okay, the matatus going this route, zinaitwa naloki, okay. And what does naloki mean, by the way? Okay, ebu wache tusikie kutoka kwa, kwa wenyeji, kwa wenyewe. Folks, sasa unona hapa imandiko nini? Na Loki Sako. Sasa ukiwa pale tao, na unataka kukuja masi njeri, kama ujapanda na Loki siji utaenda, siji sasa utapeleko wapi. So na Loki, ndo matatu, ya nyinafanya town, kiamuni, paka London, paka kabara kule chini. But I was bothered, na Loki na stand for what? Na Loki na manisha nimze? Na Kuru, London, na kiamuni. Ah, the <laughs> combination. <laughs> Kumbe liko hivyo tu, lakini mwenda kabarak. So, ana tuenda ni urongai. Oh, pako urongai. Mwisho ni urongai. Si basi mwenda kana lokika, na lokika holo. <laughs> anyway, ni kwa pana chairman wana loki, sindi o? Ifsi o chairman, mimi mzee. Oh, mzee. <laughs> sawa, sawa. <laughs> ni vile wengine wale muita chairman, mimi ni kadhani ni chairman. Lakini yendo mzee hapa, yendo chairman wa hawa vijana hapa. Ok, hapa masinjiri. Hmm. Sindio? Thank you so much. Na Loki, that is the matatu. Na uambia waeke ngoma. Ngoma iku? Eh? Na waeke TV. Ngoma, ngoma inaibiwa na nini na diyo moniwa na tuangaisha. <laughs> Nani ya na kuangaisha? Na municipality. Eh? Juhi ya ngoma? Na wanakula kwa vio vio. Na sigari za mwaki, na wana zikona ngoma? Ngoma iku lakini. Ngoma ya takemea? Waka TV eh. iku. Lakini unaweka na nina ndi wanatuanga. Pesa ndi wanaleta shida. Oh, pesa. Nakata sticker. Kazi mekua ngumu. Nataka pesa. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so I hope basi munispo basi mmesikia. Be easy on these guys, bana. Waeke ngoma kwa gari. Waeke TV. At least ukienda womba, unakaa pale, unasikia ngoma. Sia tigari imetulia. So ni kama... Kama na plasi tupandisha vei kidogo. Oh. Kwa hiyo pesa ipatikana. Itapatikana mlagani kwa hiyo garama. Yeah. Toka town is 60 po. Yes. Baka, yes. Sawa sawa. Mm. Thank you so much. Iyo ujumba yupo wataipata. Yeah. So that bana, na, 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 at least na loki bana zikuwa na ngoma bana. Susan yangalia watu 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 wangamiza mbaya. Awa watu wa munisipo. Awa watu wangaisa bana. Susan jamaa mesema wangalia watu wako governor Susan. Awa watu wa munisipo wanasema wanangaisha jamaa. Sana sana. It is their word, not mine. I'm not a matatu dealer. Angalia, tuangalia wana tuangaisa sana. So I'm just... I'm a messenger. Thank you. Ujumbe wata Ujumbe wata upata.
Moving on, mass injury has a scattered population. Mashamba huko ni mob than homes eh. But uh, I like the speed at which real estate development is going on here. For instance, uh, there's an upcoming mall just about Masinjeri shopping center. And this will be easily accessible by residents of, uh, you know, of the entire Kiamoni. All right, there's a mall coming up here. Besides the mall, uh, there has been, you know, construction of apartments here and there, like the two you are seeing on the screen. And they actually have commercial spaces. And in one of them, you know, the taller one, the commercial spaces have been taken already. <laughs> the shops up on Bele, Zisha Chikuliwa. But uh, they have one and two bedroom apartments there. And they are nearing completion as well. Okay. Uh, there is also the Jennifer Kiamoni Heights, which I featured on this channel. All right. And even this one, I mean, I've seen it built from scratch just the other day, Nasaizi Imeisha. Here they have one bedroom apartments only. So, so, and they're going for 13k. It is right there on my channel if you want to in any if you want to watch a house tour. Yeah, so looking from above, these new constructions okay are changing the face of mass injury. Because I can imagine Ebu minus these apartments, Amazon Mesema Okay, and even the mall. How will this place be looking? Sinu <laughs> Shago There are also business centers such as the Galaxy Plaza with stalls to let for business. So wale mnaishinda mkiniambia Ezra nitaftie stall, okay? Hapo Kiamuni, Galaxy Plaza hapa iko na opportunities mob and I am telling you the earlier the better. Mapema ndio best kwa sababu these apartments hapa hivi watu wakiingia watakuja kukula wapi? Watakuja kubaki kinywaji wapi? Watakuja kubaki kanguo wapi? You know, so surely this is the time to start uh, looking, to start looking, you know, into getting a stall at Galaxy Plaza. So Masinjeri, like generally, you know, it's one place that is on the upward trajectory. So ni watu tu wakuja sasa. Apart from that, there are many other businesses in the area, including uh, many supermarkets, you know, local clubs and restaurants, you know, general shops, okay, health centers, grocery shops, beauty shops, electronics, etc. Izo zote zinapatikana hapa masinjeri. By the way, he place elite waje masinjeri. You know, perhaps you ask, eh? Masinjeri, kwa nini? Mbona hata si Ezra Ondara, Okay. So well to help you answer to help us answer that question wacha tuulize veteran moja atuambie mbona mahali hapa panaitwa Masinjeri All right folks so up to that point sasa niko hapa na veteran wa Masinjeri wacha namuita veteran manake kweli she is a veteran hapa So anaitwa Wandu Junior Sure kwa kinaitwa Wandu Junior Smart Wandu Junior Smart Yeah Wandu Junior ni nini? Wandu Junior, mbona Junior? Junior ni wangare na ndongo. Hiyo ndio maana hiyo jina imekatwa W A ni wangare na N D U ni ndongo. Oh, hapa sisi ni wakaji wa Masenjeri. Okay. Mali tuko hapa ni Masenjeri. Yeah. 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 Oh, so wa ni wangare yeah. na ndongo. Yeah. Hao ni unlafu ni junior. So Mimi ni junior, hao ni wazazi. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Wandu Junior. Yeah. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Now, mm. umekaa Masinjeri for how long? 
Hapa nimekaa zaidi ya miaka 40. 40. Yes. Sasa kwa mimi ni mwanzilishi wa Messenger Primary. Mhm. Mm eh Primary sa, school. Yeah, sasa mm -hmm. wazazi wangu ndio wazilishi wa Messenger Primary. Mhm. Mm yeah, 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 yeah. Sasa wakati ulizaliwa hapa jameni. Eh. Okay, hivi tu wote unaona hivi. Mm. So wewe umeona kila kitu hapa vile imewekwa kila kitu hapa kulikuwa kichaka sasa hii uh -huh. kumekuwa city uh -huh. sasa ndio unaona kuko na maendeleo hivi yeah 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 mahali hapa palitoje masinjeri hiyo ndio ile kitu ambayo huwa inanibodha sana masinjeri yeah, hii jina hiyo jina ya masinjeri mm. tulikuwa na mwanafunzi alikuwa akisoma hapa masi kia munyi primary mm -hmm. ndio jina ikatoka ikakuja ikaitwa mase njedi mm -hmm. huyo mwanafunzi alikuwa mgonjwa ndio akakuja ku nini Akaku, alikuwa huyo huyo mwanafunzi alikuwa akisoma hii kia munyi primary ndio sasa akakuwa atakuwa akisaidia na president moi rais ali la moi Sasa ndio alikuwa akishughulika mambo kuwa na shida hapa moyo alikuwa akitusaidia sana sana sana. Mm. Sasa ndio baada ya kupeleka huyu mtoto hospitali kumshughulikia na nini na nini. Mm. Moi akatuliza mnataka tuwe tukukumbuka huyu mtoto na njia gani. Mm. Tukasema tukua wanafunzi na wazazi wa kikao hiki mm. hapa hii shule tutaibadilisha sasa itakuwa ikiitwa Kiamunyi Primary. Mm. Itakuwa ikiitwa Masinjeri Primary. Mm. Tangu wakati huo sasa hapa eneo la hapa watu wengi wameijua wanapajua kwa sababu panaitwa Mase Njeri Center Mase Njeri Primary na tuko mpaka na secondary tukazaa secondary sasa na secondary inaitwa Mase ah Mase Secondary e. so huyo mtoto nini ilimfanikia huyo unasema huyo mtoto alikuwa na shida ya moyo sasa alikuwa amepelekwa ngambo kufanyiwa upasuaji kutengelezwa sasa baada ya kufanyiwa hiyo mambo yote Hiyo ilishindikana sasa ndiyo wakaaga. Oh. E, hata wazazi wake wako tu mahali hapa karibu hapa. Okay. E, Inayo hii ya masinjeri. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, e, okay. So vila liaga, ndiyo. muka decide kurinemu hiyo shule hiitwe masinjeri. Mbas, ndiyo sasa tukasema hii. Tukutakua tukikumbuka. Yeah. Uyu mtoto jutukua tumempenda sana. Yeah kwa kwa tukimkumbuka aje okay. na sisi tukaonelea ni vizuri kweli kubadilisha yeah. shule okay. na sasa shule hiyo jina imekuwa mm. inaenea sana but ilikuwa kiamunyi primary ilikuwa kiamunyi primary kitambo sasa masinjeri primary eh. na ikazao umesema masinjeri secondary eh na sasa oh. ikazao masinjeri secondary zamani akukua na secondary okay. secondary ni ajuzi juzi haijamaliza okay. hata miaka 6 hapa okay yeah Na wewe umesema ni mwanzilishi wa primary? Mimi ni mwanzilishi wa primary. Wali, kuna watu walikuwa mbele yangu. Okay. Lakini mimi ni wanyuma kidogo. Okay. Yeah. So ulisoma hapa? Mimi nisoma hapa. Hata hizo mitu unaona zimemeta meta huko ni mimi nikuwa niki onesha watu vila watapanda kuwagilia maji. Hiyo miti hiko na miaka mingi sana. Hii miti ni wewe ulipanda? Ni mimi nilipanda. Wow. Nilikuwa a very good organizer. Yes. Yeah. Masi njeri. Masi njeri. Na tunajivunia yu shule yetu sana. Na umesema umeka hapa 40 years. 40 years. Hii shop ulifungua li? Hii shop nilifungua 2014. Mm. Eh, hapa nilikuja hapa 2014. Mm. Yeah. Lakini nimefanya business nikuwa very young, nikuwa mdongo. Nilianza uh -huh. biyashara nikuwa mdongo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Na yeah, naona penda hadi biyashara. ukona kuku. Mimi, kuku pia ni wawu nauza? Kuku ni mini nauza. Uh -huh. Kienyeji? Nina nunua, ni kienyeji, piwa kienyeji. Okay. Na nina lea na nina... Tena mimi ni daktari wa kuku. Kutaka kutibu kuku kuja unione. Mimi nitakutibia kuku zako. Kuku si unapea tu ile 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 marubaine. Hakuna marubaine. Unaeka kwa kasupu zinakunywa kunywa na nini? Kuku yako ikuwa na shida. Hmm. Usiende kushindwa ukienda ku expenses. Ati kununua madawa mingi, nunua maziwa, wekea kuku kwa nini. Yeah. Ata hii ugonjo enye, unasikia kuku zinalala zinakataa kwa muka. Yeah. Wanasemaga hii kehuruto. Yes. Itapona. Yes. Ya. Yeah. Maziwa ni dawa. Yes. Eh. Wewe wewe ni daktari wa kuku. Mimi ni daktari wa kuku. Hakuna kuku yangu inakufaga. Hapa hata watu wanashindawa. Huyu mama yes. analea kuku namna gani? Yes. Yeah. Ah, sasa basi. Mimi mwenye biashara mingi. Vile umesema ni kienyeji mimi. Kienyeji piwa. Yeah. Hadi unauza uh, kuni ya kuwasha jiko. Hizi za kuwasha jiko kila kitu. Gas. Kila kitu ninauza hapa. Vitu zingine ndio hizi huko Vitu zingine ziko hapa ndani. Mali mali yote. Mali yote. mali. Yeah. Hey. Najivunia hii center yetu sana. Anye wewe ni mchapakazi. Hey, mchapakazi. Wewe ni, wewe ni jack of mm. all trades. 
Sasa so, unaona mm. umesoma jambo lingine la kuhusu Wando Junior. What Wando is Wando Junior? junior? Yes. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Sindio umesema ni Wangari na Ndongo. Na Ndongo. Yeah. You they are junior. Yeah, we are junior. peke yako mbona ulijiita? Ah. Tuko wengi. Mm. Lakini mimi ni fourth board kwetu. Ye, yes. Tuko watoto kumi, wasichana yes. wa sita na wavulana wa nne. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Very nice. So people, I hope sasa mmeelewa. Folks, sasa mmepata historia ya Masinjeri from a veteran ambaye ameishi hapa paka yeye ndiye uh, yani she is among the pioneers wa shule ambayo inaitwa Masinjeri Primary School. Future ya hapa unaona aje sasa? Hai, future ya hapa. Unaanza kujengwa jengwa moja moja. Future ya hapa. Future hapa namna gani? Sasa watu wa hapa Kucha hapa miaka ingine ikienda tano, mm. ay, hapa itakuwa gold. Mm. Nyumaisha hapa imeanza kuwa kama ya town. Mm. Eh. Okay. Manyumba zeje zinaachiriwa hapa, mm. ni kubwa kubwa kama za Narabu City. Mm. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Watu wako na hii. Yes. Ya. Yeah. We, wow. ujeeka yako badu. Badu, very soon itaweka. Yeah. Eh, bungalow. Bangalo. Yeah. For sale ama <laughs> for sale and business. Mimi nataka hizo za for sale ndo nizii. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Eh. Sawa sawa. Thank you Wando Junior. Eh. Uh -huh. Nadhani nimeona uko na over over ndo nitachukua. Sawa. Avocado. Eh. Is it over? Let me just show you the avocados. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the overalls. I adi inani ni ile mbegu yundani una ina shake. This is really beautiful. Umeto kwa shamba mu? Eh, umeto kwa shamba apa? Iko kwa shamba kuku. Apa na iko mali na ito mashero. Mashero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, mazee izi overalls iko sawa. Yeah. Getting avocados like this, kwanza in in the cities, ah, iko sawa. Ina kuanga na drasa na. Sawa. So wandu, mi na chikuo over. Alafu ndakujia kuku hapo badaye kuku ni muzi ya kusangapi Kenyeji ya kuenda kuchinja Kuku mwere inatakaga ya moja Yani inatakemea the size Yani inatakemea the size Ya ya Mwera Inatakemea yani size Mwera iko sawa Sasa jogoda kulani kichwa Ile kichwa uko juu Mwela ata mwela ukuri yo kicho Lakini ata mwela jogodi mzuri Ata yyo mwela nini uneza Sosi Sawa sawa wandu junior thank you so much Aya santi Endelea na siku yako Aya Karibu sana Mungu endelea kubariki Atadibariki sana Iyo bangalo ujenge Ujenge Na mimi intakuja kuyuza Sawa sawa Thank you Aya santi Aya 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 Yesu wangu ni mbuku boy Yesu wangu ni mbuku boy Mbuku ndasa Off the Nakuru Kabarak Road, the feeder roads around the area are maram, okay? A railway line cuts through the area and occasionally you will spot a train traversing to Kisumu or to Naivasha. You know, it's a meter gauge rail, that's when mesema mpaka Naivasha, 
because now from Naivasha, you know, from Suswa there, uh, now all the way to Nini down to the port of Mombasa, so Najua Pale ni SGR. So for now, these sides of, you know, from Naivasha now going to Kisumu to Malaba, it is the meter gauge railway, and occasionally up a messengeri with a sport train ikipita. Daily is in a pita daily actually. Wamakapia. Eh, they ride all the way from Baringo County. Can you imagine? About 120 km away, bringing Chako to Nakuru. Um, same Kalia to Apoju, Amejiacha took a space Kakuka. Jamo and Abeba Gunyakada, leaving them with little space for comfort. Respect the hustle of these fellas, Mazi. So we spoke about farming briefly and uh, behind Masinjeri Center there are huge acres, acreages of farmland. Eh? Kule nyuma, kule where you are seeing like green. Huko ni mashamba tu, okay? Large scale farming. See, small scale at 50 by 100. You know, so sometimes there we see sunflowers, other seasons, unezona ngano huko. You know, I mean, it's, it, it, it's also great, you know, to have large scale farmers around. Ama, ama wakatekate ziko 50 by 100. Ah, pana bana. Wacha pia tukue na watu ambao they are producing food for us, for the nation. Sindio, siya tikila please sasa katakata kakue 50 by 100, you know? <laughs> Nimepotana na hii jango moja hii. <laughs> this is Max Marifa. Yeah. You can find him on TikTok as Max Marifa Kopale. He's a content creator. Mazee nimekuja masi njeri. Niko like, no, this is Max. Alright. <laughs> Wee Maxi, 
I've been watching videos of this guy pale kwa TikTok nyingine alifanya ika trend zaidi ilikuwa siku ya ilikuwa siku ya rally hapo eh naivasha and Max alileta hapa receipt inatosha na hivi ati ndo alikuwa me save hebu tuambie ndo alikuwa me save mazoro jo watu wamechukulia kitu kama fani ndio mimi naundaga video wamechukulia ni kama ni fani si joke kai sio joke ta 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 so this guy alikuwa na receipt inatosha na hivi ati demu yake alenda kachukua Dozake 48k was it 48k it was 48 uh, 48 na na ma na for your shop in Yari city that video is on the screen right there when did when this guy was alifanyo video so ideally you didn't go to the shop <coughs> no i didn't go ilikuwa hivi mimi nilikuwa nime plan kum surprise yeah haikuwa ati nime plan kwenda naivasha kujivinjari na mademo wengine azi unajua watu wanasema ni kama nilikuwa nimeenda nilikuwa na plan kwenda naivasha kujivinjari zi nilikuwa nime plan hiyo nenda rise mama obviously alikuwa aende but either way aende na mimi ama asiende na mimi no get so nikasema wacha ni msurprise hii time twende na yeye we spend time hapo kwa rally tuje enjoy kama watu wengine but sasa kumbe alikuwa na plans zake sijui maybe yako anataka niende ama alafu kitu kingine after amefanya hiyo shopping unajua watu walikuwa nadhani ati alileta kwangu hiyo shopping zi kwani hakuleta kwa nyumba azi hapana actually ni today yeah. ni today so hiyo shopping alifanya akapeleka kwake mimi kitu ilinikujia let me show you i think i have the card here ah i still have the card the card is here So mimi nilikuwa nimekaa tu hapa jioni na wenzangu tunapiga story tukingoja job. Ndio Uba ikakuja ikasimama hapa. So mimi nikaenda nikidhani ni job naendea kupewa kwa Uba. Mtu amefikishwa. But kuenda hapo na chiki mse wa Uba ananiambia nataka huyo. Maget, nataka huyo. Sasa gumbe ashaambia mpaka mtu wa Uba mimi nakaa aje. Akaniletea tu kadi na receipt. Hiyo kadi tu na receipt. Nikimpigia simu ananiambia eti ati wanaume wengine wanafanya shopping za 300,000 na hata wapigi mdomo. Na mimi nalalamika na ni 48,000 pekee 17 sijui 1700 dollars sijui. Mazee nimekufeel mazee. Kumbe ni kumbe ni kwa true story bana. Ajua sasa pale pale kwa TikTok ukicreate story bana hadi mzee unaona nikaa ah hizi tu ni story tu but wazee hadi nataka appreciate tia so wazee take it easy bro alafu unajua kitu mbaya zaidi ashiki simu yangu mpaka sasa hii alafu nilichukuaga namba ya namba ya beshte yake nikampigia nayo vile tu alisikia ni mimi akaanza kunitusi akaanza kusema sijui nini akaanza kuniambia ati kama nimeamoka na huyo dem nikae na yeye ndio maana hata namba as in vitu mob mob tu hivyo Yes, kwa na jua ni real hivyo <laughs> lakini anyway me i've just been glad to to meet a fellow content creator hapa masingeri the name is max marifa yeah. regardless of the 48k ilianda ni sawa ndio hivyo wanaume huwa tunafanywa saa zingine siju kama hiyo ndio ile point yenye wanasema anga hashtag fear women na wana ifanye na sound Kisa jo lakini ndapona tu. Ah sawa. Sina hustle. Ta save tu tena. Cha muhimu ni hustle. Eh cha muhimu ni kupambana. Sawa. So, Now, siwaambie watu about your content sasa wazi. Ah niko harakati za kupita masinje. <laughs> lakini nilisema siezi cha lazima. Oh, uh, ah yeah. mimi naitwa Max Marifa TikTok. Ah uh, pia YouTube naitwa Max Marifa. Au uh, mimi niko mimi ni content creator anything as in anything for fun. I do it. Yeah. Speak to funny live. Oh live. I do I do live but ninakoka uh, nimechoka nikitoka hapa you can see. Hapa hivi unaota ni kama wewe ni mahindi. Unaota tu jua hapa. Hebu you can see. Najua 
iko kali ifika tu ni ni kwenda tu kulala zinaongea saa 4 yeah. before hata uingie live but ningepata yeah. chance waga naingia yeah, mm. yeah cuz nilikuwa na video zako maze you have a proper studio pale kijani yeah. kuna nilikuwa kwa zi mike ilikuwa inafaa dede but <laughs> <laughs> it's some of, of many of the challenges uh, content creation yeah so the, uh, but of late jona pale hata tiktok ikiniambia max marifa is now alive so that's why nimekuuliza oh uh, ah yeah, eh yeah, nimekuwa kutoka hiyo incident nimekuwa yeah jo unajua ukiingia tu live hivi watu wanaona hiyo 48k oh <laughs> wa kenya tu unajua so, watu wanaanza tu hivyo kubonga 48k 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 yeah. watu wanakuambia vile wewe ni mjinga vile yeah, yeah. Sasa yeah. unaona tu ai manze yeah. zi au unaona hakuna haja kuingia live juu watu watakuchamba tu lazima yeah. But na thank god yeah. mambo inaenda tu sawa yeah. yeah. Thank you Max acha yeah. nataka ni kule talent pale zi ni 2 in 1 ah eh 2 in 1 delicious alafu ndo tuendelee like leo ni nakuru beyond the city episode 13 tuko hapa Masi Eh, sasa na mimi kama vile Max Marifa mkikuja hapa saa zingine yeah. mnasalimia mtu wa boda hata kama ubebwi unapeana yeah. tu salamu haiti yeah. mimba yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told this guy has to wewe enda tu photo kwa TikTok yake kwanza siku hizo naona ana create Gigi Aruto Gigi mm. Baba Didi I told you so acha nichekeshe already yeah. and yet nasikia nje so let me just go have something Max okay I'll see you and hey. I see you nikitaka kubebwa utakuja tu nipande nyuma unilipe keep your card yeah. lakini next time keep the card away from the woman you never know unajua <laughs> binadamu tunajifunza kwa kukosea yeah. Yeah. we learn from mistakes so kesho ndarekebisha yeah. hata wewe yona tena <laughs> women acha tu niwaambie kweli women yeah. kitu wenye unaweza karibia kwangu ni kiatu tu yeah. hiyo tu beyond that ah uh-uh. kiss kifungu sijui ati unampea ki asizubai kwa gate eh sasa unampea ki ndio akikuja na ah kuna kitu kama hiyo eh sasa ah thank you very much i have a call What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And I think was the give I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Yes, this is the happening. I can't believe it's true. I'm just this surprised as you. Ah, ni vizuri umekuja. Yeah. Endelea tu na kazi. Asante. Sisi tumetembea Masi Njeri. Uh-huh. Tuonyesha maendeleo gani iko hapa Masi Njeri. Okay. Ndio hiyo tu. Asante. Hatuna mambo mengine. Masi Njeri. Yeah. Maendeleo kama buje juu naona. Eh, yeah, buje tumekula hapo. Tumekula hapo. Eh. Yeah. Iko kichwa iko matumbo iko mara iko kila kitu subu. Muziki uh-huh. nimekula uh, matumbo. Uh-huh. Nikasikia jeshiba e. nikaongeza nyama. Asante sana. Barikiwe sana. Unitija sawa sawa. Sawa sawa amenipea. Sawa sawa. Sawa amenipea ya ugali. Hasa huyu ni manager hapa. Ule. Oi, Jamasai. Sasa huyu unaongeleshwa. Jamasai. Yule mbobo amenipea. Huyu ni manager area. Huyu ni manager area. Huyu. Eh, huyu manager. Ah, huyu ndo manager. Eh, huyo. Oh. Huyu ni manager. Ukiwa town manager habari. Ukitaka kwa awambie ni kitu. Yes. Ndio manager anaelewa kila kitu. Yes. Huyo ndo kaka. Yes. Yes. So, karibuni sana. Yeah. Hapa hapa iko amani. Yeah. Hatuna maneno. Mm. Wakati wote hata ile maneno ilikuwa hapa hakuna hapa masingiri. Yes. Iko sawa kabisa. Yeah. Tunakaa na amani kabla yote. Kiongozwa mm. na huyu chama ni Maheria. Chama nimemwona. Ni chama ni Maheria. Tunategemea sana mm. mambo mengi. 
Chama. Nimeona. Eh, unaona kai kibure tu. Huyo anamjua huyo. Kusema hapa. Eh. Asante sana. Shukrani sana. Shukrani. Na sisi tumekula, tumeshiba. Tuko sawa. Karibu. Mzuri mzuri. Eh. Saidie. Saidie. Wacha utapewa hapa kwa hiyo budget. Yes. Utapewa eh? Ndio utapewa. Sawa. Kaka Huyo mama huyo acha tusonge eh huyo mama ni mfanye biashara hapa ndio ni moto ni moto 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 mandazi moto moto mandazi moto moto uji sambusa yes ni kwa hiyo mama sambusa chapati yote nice huyo ndio engineer ya matractor eh eh ndio ameniambia ndio ndio nyanguzi eh bwana sawa sawa thank you I spotted Full Gospel Church here and the PCEA but uh, there are many others okay there are many other churches within the entire Kiamuni whether it's DA nini ile kitu tu haiko hii area it's a what a madrasa okay a mosque maybe okay there, there are two muslim schools okay around Kiamuni kuna moja inaitwa is it Mumtaz Girls High School and there's another uh, there's another one here at Masinjeri So they have their own mosque pale ndani okay I mean place to ya kwenda ku worship it's not like a proper proper mosque yeah? so I think mosque mosque by this and inakosa tu hapa Kiamuni because uh, even when uh, you know this the nini folks you know the somalis wakati wa, you know wananipigia you know they have seen a house you know in Kiamuni a nice house so they ask me is there a mosque there you know is there a madrasa hapo so hizo tu mito vitu ambazo naona zinakosa hapa kiamoni mosque na madrasa madrasa tu moja proper so that also you know even the somali community ambao wako interested kuja kwa hapa kiamoni they can now come because you know what those folks they, you know i mean going to the mosque for them is a must unaona so hiyo tu ndile kitu ambao unaona inakosa hapa the entire kiamoni kutoka kiamoni you living to kiamoni masinjeri there is no mosque okay very well so that was a brief tour of of masinjeri sasa kutoka hapo tupatane wapi? Tupatane maili sita in episode 14. Nakuru Beyond the City. Kumbuka hii ndo the series ya kipekee ambayo inakupeleka around the various estates of Nakuru bringing you each vibe, bringing you the vibe of each estate so that kama uelewi Nakuru vizuri unaweza kujua kiundani. Okay? Si tu kufika pale Kenya Avenue unasema nimefika Nakuru go outside all right nakuru go outside the cbd and uh, learn more about the various estates of nakuru sawa sawa and uh, perhaps even also you are looking for a house no no maybe i have featured a property in some of this property or this house these apartments is in section 58 you can always just go to nakuru beyond the city out of section 58 uangalie tu at large how does section 58 look like what do you find in section 58 ETC namna hiyo namna hiyo so that is the essence of this series na code